Greetings. Welcome back to Explore with Jatur. Today I wanted to explore some ideas with, about laughter with you. Uh, actually, with me. Uh, I watch these videos for myself, and um, so maybe this is more for me than it is actually for anyone else, which is pretty interesting to think about and also to feel about. So, laughter is the topic today, and uh, in my experience, we use laughter for many reasons. And those sometimes come with kind of more of a shadow side reason, and sometimes maybe they come with a light side reason. And I'd like to invite you to consider both of those sides the next time you're laughing. Uh, some of the more shadow side and qualities of laughter would be, for me, have you noticed when you're quite intimate with someone that you may laugh to break up the energy that's occurring in that moment? Do you notice maybe when you're in a tense situation and or an argument, maybe you chuckle or laugh? Uh, and maybe you're chuckling or laughing rather than crying. Personally. I do that when I'm in a situation that feels very tense, awkward, scary. I tend to laugh and chuckle or crack a joke to deflect from the situation and to, uh, for me, hide from what I'm actually feeling. Maybe a truth or the truth. The example might be, so how's your relationship going? <laughs> My relationship, it's going great, yeah. It's going really good. That would be an example. Uh, and the example from uh, for laughing to kind of break up the energy of the situation. I had a class that I was uh, facilitating and at the end of the class we were each going around and sharing what we experienced in the class and uh, I felt a huge amount of emotion. And when it was my turn to share I completely broke down and started to cry. And I noticed in that moment that as I was crying, I had this, I wanted to cover my face so no one would see me cry. And I chose to keep my hands down. I chose to just cry and let myself freely express that in front of a class of, I think it was 25 or 30 people. About 30 seconds or so, 45 seconds, maybe a minute into that, a student in the class had to break up the energy. Uh, he said, okay, Jator, we know, we know how you feel. And everyone started to laugh. And it completely broke all the energy. And I actually felt myself get uh, a little triggered and charged at the student. Because uh, I was really enjoying uh, expressing in that way. And uh, I think I was a little pissed because... I lost a sense of control as well, which is pretty interesting to think about. So laughter. Light side of laughter for me is childlike enjoyment of life. Just laughing and enjoying and cracking up like you were five years old, six years old, seven years old. Just losing it. Uh, do you remember having a best friend that you grew up with just that you would, you guys would just crack up about nothing and then the, the laughter would just keep exploding and exploding and exploding off of each other. I know there was times where I've laughed so hard in situations that I thought I was going to die. I couldn't breathe, actually. I was laughing so hard, which in an interesting way was scary. But the childlike enjoyment of laughter, of being silly and being a fool, and dancing around and doing cartwheels and not caring what anyone else thinks. Just laughing to laugh. Uh, I'm going to share a video clip from my class where we just laughed. There was no joke. There was nothing to laugh at. We just laughed. And I invited them to experience 
what it was like just to laugh at nothing and feel the energy in their body shift and feel the release of energy. When I put this clip up, I would invite you guys to watch the people laughing, maybe even laugh with them. Watch their eyes, watch their body language, watch the people that were being more expressive of laughter, maybe an attempt to make others laugh. It's really interesting to think about and watch. <laughs> guys enjoy that clip I do uh, very much so I get a good laugh out of it my invitation to myself and to each of you uh, can you pay attention to why you laugh it doesn't mean you have to stop laughing I'm only inviting you to and myself to be more aware of the reasons behind my laughter my other invitation would be, can you find five to ten minutes out of your day to just laugh? If you have to put something funny on that makes you crack up, makes you crack up, then that's okay as well. I would invite you to find some time to just be a kid and laugh. It's really really healing to the body in my experience. Uh, bringing pleasure and play back into our lives as adults and maybe recognizing that we're only little children dressed up in these adult suits and that maybe a lot of our needs and wants uh, are rooted in that inner child. And for me, Laughter, play, acting like a clown with myself or with others together brings so much healing to the body from a mental and emotional level, a physical level, a spiritual level, an intuitive level. Think about how intuitive children are. All right, my friends, 
I hope you enjoyed some laughter, some fun, some seriousness as well. Uh, talk to you all later.